It wasn't that long ago that when we were thinking of building a house, there was only one option, brick and tile, and only a handful of builders from which to choose. Well, that's all changed. The range of materials is extensive, and of course, there are builders everywhere. John, very important, isn't it, to get off to a good start. How do we choose the right builder? I guess to build or renovate is probably one of the largest decisions you're ever going to make. Oh, so it's very important that you do your research thoroughly. Builders need to conduct themselves in a professional way, and presentation is very important. The builder you're looking to engage is professional, turns up on time, responds to your inquiries directly, is well organised. The second is communication. Being able to communicate and be a good listener is very important for the builder and qualities a builder needs to have. They right. need to be able to translate your ideas and dreams into workable plans. So communication is key. Also professional skills is important. It can be quite complex when you're doing a major renovation or build. So it's important that particular builder has done work in the past that demonstrates they can conduct the sort of work that you're looking to achieve with your particular project. But also professional reputation is also very important and that's where professional builders should be able to provide you references of their previous customers and projects for you to research and call them and then from there you go into the interview process. Are people interviewing builders these days? Is that important? Well, interviewing is very important because once you've put all the information together it's important you start that interview process because the way you're dealt with prior to the contract being signed is a really good indication about how things will operate once you start the building project because you are building and renovating whether it's your dream home or major project so you've got to feel comfortable with the builder you're actually working with. And I guess uh, there's some security in looking for that HIA logo too. Exactly and I think professional organisations like the HIA is a good indication and consumers should look for the HIA brand when they're looking to engage a particular building professional and HIA also provides advice to consumers as well through our housinglocal.com.au website and I encourage consumers to go and have a look for a few tips about what they should do when looking to engage a builder or someone to renovate their particular home. So catching up later on the show with David Hunt from Summit Southwest, who's going to discuss their new approach to building. And particularly in the Southwest, there's a lot of work going on at the moment. Look forward to that a little later on. In the meantime, find out more information, go to hia.com.au. And remember, with HIA, you're in good hands. <laughs>